everybody, it's Eleni from Hens and Chicks, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about broody chickens and how to deal, deal with them. So, we're going to be going over a few key points in this video. Number one, a question would be, um, what is a broody hen? And the answer to that is a broody hen is a hen when they want to incubate eggs and fertilize them and hatch little chicks. And it's just random, they, uh, they go into a phase and it, you have to stop them, unless you have a rooster. In, in which, in that case, they can fertilize the eggs. But we don't, so we have a hen that's broody and she's just wasting her time. Um, another key point is, how does it start? Well, normally, sometimes the broody hen will see another broody hen and she'll want to be broody. We've had that, like a chain. But um, the most popular reason is because there's just a lot of eggs laying around in the laying boxes and the hen will just go over there and start brooding them. Or she'll just snap into a trance by seeing them. So, um, I'm gonna come into my, and, and then how to tell if a broody hen's broody. So I'm gonna open this and it's gonna be pretty obvious. So, there's honey. See how she gets all puffy and starts clucking? So that means she's broody. So I can like try to get her and she'll get really angry at me. So, if I, when, if, if I go to, when I go to get her, in the coop she's gonna be in a trance and when I put her down she's not really gonna be alert so I'm gonna go do that come here honey. yeah she's in a little bit of a trance here so I'll put her down you can see she's kind of still dead like kind of in it like tr in a trance there we go but um so you see how her tail's very fanned out right now and she's kind of at very big that's because she's trying to, like, brood. Normally, hen's tails are like this. But her, her tail is very fanned out. That's another way to tell. But now she's pretty alert because she's preening. But yeah, so she's, she's, she stretches because, of course, she's been in the um, laying boxes for a long time. She doesn't get out until they hatch. All right, so let's take her. Now, another, m m most importantly, how to deal with this and how to fix it. It's pretty much, so come in. It's pretty much just an elevated dog crate, as you can see here. So, this is called a broody buster. It's pretty much an elevated dog crate, and you have to have it elevated, or else this won't work. And there, it's not on the ground because there's no comfortable bedding, and we don't want her to be comfortable. We want her to be uncomfortable, so we have just straight up wire on the bottom. So just straight up wire, we give her food and water, and we'll sit her in here for a few days, probably a week, works really quickly though until she's not free and then we'll let her out and sometimes what I do because I feel bad I will let them out so they can dust bathe because of course they have to like keep the like, keep stay clean but I'll watch them and make sure they don't go into the coop so let's put you in honey yes go on. and she'll stay in here all day all night until she's um, not broody anymore and you can tell because she won't cluck as much she won't like, and she won't really be as puffy. And when you let her out, she won't go straight into the coop. Now, the, she stays in here all day, all night, but since we have an enclosed run, she can stay, just stay here. If you don't, you can either put them in the coop, put them somewhere where they can be safe all day, all night. But for us, we just keep her here. And if it gets cold or rainy, we'll put a tarp over her. But after a few days, she'll be perfect. We already finished Ricky, who's back there. She's just broody, and now she's not. She's fine, she's a white pocket. But now we have to deal with honey. And I think after this, she'll be good. Because last time, we had like a chain of five or six hens who were broody. But yeah, so that's it.